The recent reunion between Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods took all of us by surprise. Guys, I never thought I'd see this day. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods have reunited for the first time in four freaking years. Some people are on board with it and others are not, but the saddest of them all is Khloe Kardashian. According to sources close to the Kardashians, Khloe is furious and devastated by this reunion. A few days ago, Kylie and Jordan were spotted out for the first time in a little over four years, and this time, it is a big deal. Daily Mail spotted Kylie and Jordan out on a dinner date, and they were the first to break the news with photographs of the two leaving a sushi restaurant in LA. The reason why it is a big deal is that Kylie and Jordan were best friends back in the day until their friendship ended because of the whole Tristan scandal. I made a whole video about it. Please check the link in the description. Anyway, it came as a surprise to all of us, and people are wondering why now. Like, did Kylie plan the whole thing? Is it a potential Kardashian trap? To give you a bit of background on the friendship, Kylie and Jordan were best friends since 2012. Their friendship was so intimate, they did everything together, and they even made their bond official by getting married in an intimate ceremony in Peru. <laughs> to be married. They were so close to the point that Jordan moved in with Kylie. In February 2019, when the rumors of Tristan cheating on Chloe with Jordan came to light, it was a huge shock for everyone. I mean, Tristan cheating wasn't new because he cheated on Chloe a lot before this, but it was the fact that this time it was with Jordan. This scandal was really hard on Kylie because she was literally put in a position of choosing between her best friend and her sister. And of course, she had to choose her sister. She pretty much didn't have a choice in the matter, and it became worse when Jordan did an interview with Red Table Talk. In the interview, Jordan admitted to making out with Tristan, but insisted that she is not the reason that they broke up, which is true, because at that point in time, Tristan had already cheated on Chloe, and their breakup was already public. I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. Chloe was livid, and she expressed her frustration and anger to Kylie. Chloe claimed that Jordan did not apologize to her. Can't call me to apologize? Not one time. She never called me one time after the Tuesday when she admitted what she did. But Jordan had indeed made a public apology to her, but Chloe was not ready to let it go. She took to Twitter saying, quote, Why are you lying, Jordan Woods? If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. BTW, you are the reason my family broke up. Soon after this, the Kardashian and Jenner sisters stand on the whole situation was evident because they all unfollowed her on social media, all except Kylie. She did not immediately unfollow Jordan at the time, and during the reunion special on season 20 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, this is what she had to say. When I did talk of have a talk after that, when we were friends, we never thought that we wouldn't be friends. It was kind of an overnight thing. Of course, after this scandal, they all cut ties with Jordan, but Chloe kept throwing shade per usual on her Instagram stories. She posted cryptic posts saying, quote, Sometimes people victimize themselves so they don't feel guilty for the things they did to you. Fans were shocked that she was still shading Jordan especially because she had forgiven and eventually gotten back with Tristan. Like, if you are going to let it go, let all of it go. It was honestly a bad look at that point. Anyway... Back to the recent reunion between Jordan and Kylie, Chloe is furious about it, and of course, we can tell because she always does the obvious. She posts tons of cryptic quotes on her Instagram and Snapchat. Some of the quotes said it takes grace to remain kind in cruel situations. Another said it is easy to judge, it is more difficult to understand. Understanding requires compassion, patience, and a willingness to believe that good hearts sometimes chose poor methods. Through judging, we separate. Through understanding, we grow. From these posts, you can tell that she has found herself in a position where she has no choice but to let it go, despite the fact that it really upsets her that Jordan and Kylie are friends again. She probably expected Kylie to hate Jordan forever, but clearly that is not happening. Fans too are upset about this reunion because Jordan has grown and evolved so much. She doesn't need to go back into their shadow. 
One fan commented, quote, I wonder if they are bringing Jordan back to get the show some ratings, since it's been boring the last couple of seasons. I mean, it seems plausible because Kylie herself hasn't had much going on, and she probably needs Jordan for the content on the show. Another fan said, I'm guessing since her fake relationship didn't work out, she is paying the big bucks for Jordan. They are desperate and Jordan looks miserable. Another one said, Jordan better stay away from those people. She is doing so good without them, even if they wished that she had a broken, miserable life. But when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. But what do you think? Do you think Kylie has an ulterior motive for the reunion? Do you think Jordan should really get back to being friends with Kylie? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.